Ford, GM, as well as Ram, Chrysler, Stellantis are shaking in their boots. Why? Well, it's simple. Now they have more competition again, strong competition. Now I'm on a Toyota lot here, and as you can see, there's a lot of vehicles here that never used to be here. About two years ago, even a year ago, half these vehicles, a third of these vehicles existed. You couldn't find anything on the lots, SUVs, cars, trucks. But what we're talking about are specifically the Toyota pickup trucks are giving some of the big players from the big three a real run for their money. And look at this little unit right here. I love this. You know what? You look at the stickers on these guys, and we're talking about $63,000 for this. We're talking an SR5, and it's a great little unit. Although it's got kind of the base tires on it, it's a nice truck. And again, a Tundra right here. Here we have the TRD 4x4 off-road. Of course, we're talking SR5. Now we're talking more like in the 70s. We're probably in that 70, $73,000. But I like the looks of it. Now, of course, basic, but it does have TRD updates on there. It's a good looking little truck, obviously. And here we have a truck that's generally gonna fit the bill. $65,000, $70,000, we're getting a modern day truck by Toyota that's likely going to outclass, outwork, outclass some of the vehicles that we're finding from their big competition of the big three. You can't go too wrong. Now, this isn't me pitching Toyota. I'm just saying with the big three from GM, Ram, Stellantis, Ford, they're gonna be quivering. As more of these hit the market, we're definitely gonna see that big competition arm wrestle match to get these trucks out to the market. Rams aren't selling. Stellantis, they're just not selling. Nobody's buying them right now. Fords, yeah, they're selling okay, but their ICE combustion vehicles are down in sales overall. Then what about, of course, GM? Well, GM's selling, they're second in line, but they're also seeing a little bit of a, a hit in terms of their overall sales. Ford is actually relying more on their hybrid they're little hybrid vehicles, for example, like the Maverick, and that's what Toyota's doing. They've already beat them to the punch. They've got these great full-size hybrid pickup trucks that give you a lot more power, slight better economy, but ultimately, they've actually beat the Maverick. Now, they're a little bit more money than a Maverick. Maverick and Canadian funds, you're talking, you can pay as much as close to 50 grand, whereas you can get into probably a full-size Tundra, slightly more money, probably 15 grand more for full-size without the hybrid. Hybrid's gonna get you probably 20, 25 more, but it's a full-size truck. You can tow things with it. You can tow things in the bed like this. You actually have room here to throw your junk in the trunk. And that's what's literally gonna make some of these big automakers quiver in their boots. And everybody knows the prices of these modern day Rams are way out to lunch. We're seeing trucks 70, 80, 90, $100,000. And even worse, we saw a truck that was $115,000 diesel, sure. But even gas jobbies, you can pay up to $100,000 Canadian. And really, what do you get? Not much, the old 5.7, now they're bringing in that Hurricane six cylinder, which I'm not sure will be the reliability king yet. But they're competing now, and now, we had to wait for a while. Now, Toyota was a late bloomer, if you will. And the reason I say that was because during, of course, the last couple of years, they were on basically buy on demand. So you go sit down, you sign the paperwork, you wait for months to get your vehicle. Now we're starting to see vehicles on the lot. And the beauty is with that, now you have opportunity to actually make these purchases, or even if you have to wait, it's not very long. But the great thing isn't necessarily that you won't need to buy a Toyota, it's just that there's more competition. And now you've got vehicles that actually look a little more energized than what you're getting with some of the big three. GM, pretty standard looking, although there's some great looking vehicles. I pre prefer definitely the Chevy over the GMCs. And of course, Fords are getting a little long in the tooth and specifically Rams don't look bad. However, they're a little blase. And what we're now looking at Toyota, I mean, look at some of these great detail. Toyota, look at the big bold grill. We have these great lights here. I love the looks of some of this front end finishing. And you have this camo style plastic everywhere. Look, I mean, you get these great headlights, solid, better looking. It's gonna last longer. And we have a TRD Pro. You know that's not gonna be cheap. That's definitely up there in terms of the fit and finish. But if you're paying about $75,000, $80,000 Canadian, at least you're gonna get a vehicle in a lot of cases with the hybrid. I mean, here's more of that camo look. I love that style. Quality, you definitely get some beautiful leather interior on these. Beautiful, they've got embossed on there. Solid, everything feels fairly well made. Now, we know that these aren't necessarily built in Japan, but they're definitely coming from a company that cares a little more about quality. And, and when there's a problem, they react to it, they respond to it. Here, beautiful, they even go to the trouble of putting detail like that. Little lights here. I mean, just look at the overall finishing on this vehicle. It's actually very, very cool. I love the looks of it, I'm not gonna lie. Even with these great wheels, I mean, look at that TRD style rim right there. Oh, lots of great hardware, there's no doubt. This feels like it's twice, three times the truck of a modern day Ram. And it's the similar kind of money. 
As a matter of fact, we showed you the other day, a base RAM was gonna cost you probably in about that $55,000 Canadian base. That was with the V6. I showed you that there the other day. V6 engine and four x four, but very stripped out, plain Jane, not a lot going on there. Of course, you do have Tacomas, that's always a choice, and that's a beauty. A lot of people prefer the Tacoma because the smaller drivetrain, now you come with a turbo six or a turbo four cylinder engine in there. And of course, the TRDs, or we're talking about the Tundras, no longer are that infamously reliable 5.7, that's Gonzo. They're now replacing it with, what we have here is a twin turbo V6. And of course, in the upper trim levels, you get the hybrid, which isn't really intended so much for fuel economy, but it is intended for performance. Of course, you can get Tacomas. I love this. I mean, look at this great detail. Oh, birds got a hold of it. I think a bird ran into this one. It was so shiny that he just hit it. It was reflecting, wham, hit it. Of course, beautiful. I love the ride height of these vehicles. Tacoma's always been kind of one of my favorites. What do we get the like from GM? Well, they have the Canyon or the Colorado, Dodge, well, what has Ram got? Not much that really competes with a Tacoma. Tacoma is pretty much the creme de la creme of smaller pickup trucks. And right here we have another Tundra. Look at this monster. Now this is huge. This is obviously, oh, I love the metallic paint. It's so shiny. This is a limited right here. More highway tires. This is more street style. Obviously a beautiful truck. I love the looks of these right there. Nice style tail lights, the Tundra. Beautiful, look, backup camera down in there. And yes, of course they're made to tow. But with a twin turbo V6, I almost guarantee you, now you've heard a few things on the forums, a few people talking about the odd rod bearing failure, but that's early generation. I have pure faith that Toyota will have that licked in no time, too sweet. Here we have an iForce Max, love it. Hybrid, obviously, with the, with the blue logo on there, hybrid. And of course, here we go, big beefy looking lights. This one's a little more plain Jane on the front, doesn't have all the bling in the finish, you don't have all those extra lights. It's a little more simpler layout. A truck like this is gonna cost you a little bit less. Of course, you do have some great wheels on there. It's a Tundra, I love this. Two-tone handles on these vehicles. This is literally going to give the likes GMC, with all their quality issues, the transmission problems, of course, engines, lifter problems that they're finding with some of the GMCs, and that's what's also eating their lunch. See, they didn't have competition. The big three and the chicken tax. We know about that. I've explained how that worked. The chicken tax essentially kept all of the import trucks that could have been strong competition out of the market. Therefore, has let the big three, GM, Ford, Ram, to get fat and bloated and create products that weren't necessarily living up to the expectations. And now there was a time when that was okay, when you only paid $25,000, $30,000 for a 4x4 full-size pickup truck. But that's not the case anymore. People now are paying a lot of money. Now, here are we to look at a Tundra. This is another different setup. We've got a little more chrome, another limited. Obviously, beautiful looking finish, chrome all over the place. I'm less of a personal fan of the chrome, but everybody likes their own. Of course, I like these wheels. Definitely looks a little more racy and off-road, and it is. It's a TRD 4x4 off-road. And you can bet your booties, yes, GM, of course, specifically has some vehicles that do kind of line up with these in terms of performance and sort of their intent, whether it's more off-road basis, as well as Ram. We know they have more off-road type vehicles but is the quality there and i i you know i've seen quality challenges with all the makes i think toyota's even got some of the issues here right right now they've got a few problems that they've got to sort out but again i believe that they'll have that lick no time flat so here we have absolutely gorgeous truck look leds beautiful unit of course you got plastic trim around the fender wells you know what as opposed to the rams that it's unfinished that's another example how many rams have you seen rotted out? I mean, I've seen three or four year old rams already with bubbling paint, bubbling here. You've seen them with bubbling paint along there with the bottom doors, edges. And even Chevy had a real problem with the bottom corner of that cab. So this is what I'm saying is it's all that attention to detail. And when you're spending $100,000 or even 80 grand for a truck, you hope it's not gonna rot away. Beautiful trucks. And I truly believe GM, Ford, Ram, Stellantis, have their hands full trying to compete now with the likes of, of Toyota. Toyota here now creating great trucks like this, nicely styled, nicely detailed, but the quality is gonna be backing it too. And it's for the similar kind of money. I mean, I saw some brand new Tundras with the twin turbo V6 and the extra cab space, and you can get that for $55,000, $52,000. Now, that's not cheap, we know that. We talk about cost of living crisis. 
ideally if you can get the base tundra for 30,000 35,000 that would kind of make more sense the pickup trucks that some of the big three aren't competitive anymore they're not making the quality there to align with the prices and that's where Toyota has always been about durability reliability and with that said you're likely going to see pickup trucks from Toyota selling more and more and more wait till the bugs come out the only reason a lot of people didn't buy the older generation of Tundras was simply because that 5.7 as reliable as it was they've been known to go a million miles it's just that they were heavy on gas now with the twin turbo v6 with a hybrid you're gonna get a little better fuel economy and the performance so i mean with all these trucks that you see on the lot obviously i'm seeing lots and lots of toyota tundras here there's choices now we all have choices as buyers now we also have choices we don't have to buy any of these these are also not cheap vehicles and so even tundra is matching up toyota is matching up with the likes of the big three and they're all aligning themselves in the right price point but the sad reality is it's still a cost of living crisis and we're all struggling so to buy a truck like this you know at $65,000 still is way too much to bite off for most buyers sure if you could get this truck maybe for $40,000 45 it would probably be right in the sweet spot but I don't think prices are going down anytime soon and even the likes of Toyota albeit they have better quality they're going to likely last longer than some of their competition they probably won't see all these lifter issues rod bearings and timing chain troubles but in fact they will have their own little issues to sort out the worst part is just the sheer cost but this is just to keep adding in the cost of living crisis is real that's why i keep driving my old ram it's got a little rust around the fenders got a little rust around the corner but it keeps running it's perfect that's all i need and that's where we're at cost of living crisis is real but with all of that said if you are in the market for a new pickup truck i have to tell you give the toyota a look I mean, dollar for dollar, pound for pound, you're probably getting a better truck and it's probably gonna outlast most of its competition from the big three. And with all of that said, be sure to check out right there what's going on with the GMC crisis. It's real. Yeah, they're having their own troubles. Hope to see each and every one of you on the next one. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.